This is far and above the single most coherent collection of art through a building that I've seen done in the 20th century. Dallas was really in the late 40s, 50s, 60s, was a booming, thriving city with a, with a real downtown core. Arl Thornton wanted Dallas to become a real integrated, world-leading city, to rival New York or Los Angeles or anything like that. The mercantile art was spread throughout large common areas in the, uh, the mercantile building. Everything from the furniture to the hinges on the doors were designed, I think, to make a real statement about Dallas is here, Dallas has arrived, and Dallas is a force to be reckoned with. We had started developing the Jewel in 2004, and probably a year or so into development, 2005, I got a call from Laura Miller, who was the mayor of Dallas at that time, and she said, please come down, we're having a meeting at the Mercantile. I got an emergency call. Can I come uh, have a look at some mosaics that had to be saved? While some people were saying, yeah, I might buy one, maybe, at that hour, the wrecking was starting the next day. My, my thought is that none of them would have been saved. Everybody got totally alarmed and realized that this is actually an integral part of Dallas's heritage and history, and it can't be demolished. I said, in case you don't find a home for everything, I would be willing to try to take them all. Tim came up with his personal money and said, Look, well, let's first and foremost, let's save the art. Tim was given about two hours to make that decision. I said, um, I would be interested. Let's see if we can actually get them out of the walls. There was some note that some of them, or all of them, had been done in Italy. And then I did some tapping on the walls, and I kind of looked around, and I thought, well, if the Italians got them here, I can get them off. A lot of people haven't seen mosaics, but I think people are really stunned by the beauty, the materials, the, the craftsmanship. Most people seem to be uh, quite taken with them, as I am as well. I think it's the most magnificent thing I've ever really worked on. The most beautiful outcomes was in the North Lobby, where they are displayed four large pieces that basically form a, a definition for the lobby and separate the elevators from the more residential components. I mean, if you look at the VIP corridor, I don't think there's an installation like that in America. There are groups that, that follow mosaics as a professional focus, and they are awestruck. I hope it ends up as, as an inspiration. People just keep talking. They'll come off the street and absolutely stop and look at them because they are so unique and so unusual. Let's, let's make more of it. <laughs> We're very proud of the Jewel Hotel and uh, everything about it. Fundamental to, to that pride is the fact that we have the mosaics. And I guess over time for us, as I look at what's happened in kind of the whole context, here we're in a, a beautiful old Gothic building built in the 20s, and then we're able to take these beautiful mosaics that were part of the new renovated downtown Dallas in the 50s, and now we can apply it here. And it's sort of like a hundred year span of, of Dallas history in a way.